Almost immediately, the opening chapter of Revelation lifts our eyes up to gaze at a glory that utterly transcends our earthly circumstances. Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, who is, and who was, and who is to come. He's our Savior who loves us and has freed us from our sins, and he will return. Look, the angel said, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him. John goes on to describe a wondrous vision of Christ himself, an encounter so awesome that John fell at his feet as though dead. But right in the middle of these two glorious passages is a line we might easily miss. John's brief description of his life and the lives of his letter's recipients. John writes that he's a companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus. John wrote Revelation while in exile, and it was circulated among a suffering church facing pressure and persecution that would only worsen in the coming decades. Revelation's initial recipients were living in two overlapping realities, their assurance in the sovereign reign and glorious return of Christ, and their earthly, everyday experience of waiting and suffering. Some 2,000 years later, we still live amid these overlapping realities. Here, between Christ's first coming and his glorious return, our lives may also feel like a mix of kingdom and confidence alongside waiting and suffering. It's no wonder that John's honest words about suffering and the need for patient endurance, they're woven in and among his visions of glory. For it is this vision of what is to come that enables and emboldens such great endurance. Consider the realities portrayed in Revelation's grand finale. Christ victorious, riding on a white horse and defeating evil. A new heaven and a new earth without sorrow or death, where God's dwelling place is now among the people. And a holy city where people from all nations are gathered in the light of God's glory. With this ultimate eternal reality in view, any temporal circumstance, no matter how dire, fades in importance. The idea of patient endurance is repeated several times in the first three chapters of Revelation, often paired with language of overcoming and conquering. Endurance isn't merely patient, but it is also tenacious, courageous, and strong. And this is what God gives us as we live in the in-between. In Christ, as the classic hymn puts it, we find strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow.